Welcome to session seven. Now right, here we go. Now it's War Powers Made Easy, session seven. Now let's get this started with. Today we're going to be talking about other occupations, not just doctors. We're actually going to go ahead and start talking to you guys about sinks, like other jobs, like engineers and eye doctors. Now, sure, this will also include doctors, but it just won't include doctors. So it'll include other scientists and so on. And this time we have 10 of them. So we should just start get going, shouldn't we? Let's start off with the psychologist. Now the psychologist is an interesting thing, is an interesting, well, occupation itself because it's just a behavior expert. It's an expert who goes ahead and studies behaviors and how they work and everything else that it seems to include there. And it just studies human behavior and tells people and like just tries to diagnose people's ideas and everything and that's pretty much where this psychologist person actually comes from psycho as you probably know means brain mind those kinds of things so it, it kind of makes sense that this, this seems to be working out well our second occupation is the psychoanalyst and this psychoanalyst is just a, the analyst a, a, ver a person who analyzes the thoughts and feelings in the soul of someone, like their mind, that is. Worries, fear, conflicts, whatever, these, you should go to the psychoanalyst as they're the people who probably just goes ahead and analyzes your behaviors, your fears and everything, and then tells you after a period of sessions, I believe. Then we have the orthodontist. Now this is the dentist or the teeth. Also, most people just call them the dentist. They're not the people who literally just pull your teeth out. So they, they just, they're the ones who straighten it. Like turn this into a straightened thing. Also, my mouth is starting to get a bit big. So I'm not sure I got to need one though. Eh? Eh? No, that wasn't very serious. And of course, a orthodontist, this is like a teeth, like the teeth doctor, like the dentist. Yeah, just call him the dentist. It, it makes more sense, and lots of people know what the dentist is. Next, we have the optometrist. Now, what is the optometrist anyway? Now, you might think this is the eye doctor. Yes, you're correct, but he's not the only eye doctor in our list. He's just the eye doctor. He's the one who just goes ahead and uh, prescribes glasses and everything. But he's not the one who actually gives you the glasses, too. That's for the optician. Now, the optician is the eyewear person. He's the one who checks your eyes and get, gives you glasses. Or is the one who provides you glasses when you don't have new ones. Or you kind of need new ones. Hey, I went to the optician for this, but I first had to go to the optometrist for eye scans, and then I needed the optician. And then I got glasses, but they get dirty really easily, and it's not really easy to take all that dirty stuff out. It takes me like a minute to make it this clean. All right. And then our sixth occupation is the osteopath. Now the osteopath is the bones and the blood and the vessel, those kinds of things. It's like the bones, blood, vessels. It's the like the cardio. It's like the cardiologist, except it adds the bones and the blood. It, and the blood comes from the bones, so it kind of makes sense why they also study the bones. Yeah, like the marrow inside of bones. That's actually new blood cells. Like new blood cells waiting to grow up into actual blood cells. Then we have the really, really annoying and really, really hard to pronounce chiropractor. I had a hard time spelling this out. Chiropractor. C-H-I-R-O-P-R-A-C-T-O-R. -R -R. Not that hard if you think about it. And this is the joints and the articulation word. Like, they like study the joints, they make you your joints, and they like go ahead and like, what's wrong with your joints? What's wrong with your arteries? Like, articulations, those kinds of people. Then we have the podiatrist. Now, if you've ever had athlete's food, I've never had it, but it sounds pretty awful. You probably know the itchiness about it, and you, to, to take it away, you might go to a podiatrist for the prescription of anti, anti, like, what's it called? Anti-fungus. Anti-fungus drugs, and like powder, as you powder it up there, and then it will be gone. Of course, that's what a podiatrist does, is... This is the person who you go to when you want some minor feet ailment to go ahead and be destroyed. However, if it's serious, like major, then yikes. Yeah. And last two, we have the graphologist. Now, this is actually not nowhere in medical science at all. Now, we've been talking about medical science for the previous eight occupations and the previous episodes too, but this last two aren't actually related to med medicine at all. The graphologist is 
just a writing analyzer where sure i guess this goes into medicine a little bit or like science like medicine a little bit but this guy analyzes writing to go ahead and try to figure out how that person like looks like feels like like what they are and their personality is and those kinds of things by just looking how they write and what they write and then the 10th and final one for today is the genotologist now gerontologist now unlike what most people would think like i did i thought it was like genotologist but i didn't realize it was a geron so yeah it's also if it, there was no r it would be geon yeah gerontologist now this is the person we go to when you're getting old but it's not for like ailments like creaky boat of scientists no not that not, not that kind of medical doctor this has nothing to do with medicine at all once you're getting older, this doctor, the gerontologist, get, helps you with your social sciences, like your stock, your analyzing, your money problems, those kinds of things. Not anything like related to your side of stuff. Go to the other doctor, eh? You, when you come to me if you have problems with money and you're old. Too old to think about it. And that's it. So I hopefully... And that's it, folks! Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you grew a little bit smarter. And hopefully, unlike these Russian dolls here, you will be awesome. So wherever you are, whatever you are, go away and be awesome. And don't forget to be awesome. Of course, that's John Green's line. See ya. Boom. Peace.